Hello, it's Tanil for Sassy Scrappers and welcome to part two of the video series that I'm showing my project shares using the new sweet story collection. So I made four loaded pockets all together. Be sure you check out the first part of the video where I showed you the first two um, loaded pockets that I made. And this third one is so cool. Um, it's again made out of um, pattern paper on the back, backed onto some cardstock. And I sewed like a two-tone um, pocket front um, with the intent that I could actually make a little shaker at the front and I absolutely adore it. Um, I am in love with this vinyl. I'm going to be buying some more of this beautiful pink vinyl. Um, it's got pops of like highlighted, like gorgeous fluoro pink through it. And that beautiful um, black and white paper is from the Sweet Story 12 by 12s and I added my own little mix of sequins down the bottom in the shaker front, pocket front, and I've even added some little chipboards just to accent the shaker. Um, as I mentioned in the first part of the video, I do have a little project share of a whole bunch of bag toppers and um, embellishments that I made before and I've just popped one of those bag toppers to decorate the front and I am very very happy with it I think it's such a cute way to decorate um, a loaded pocket and you know making use of something that you've made previously so let me show you what I have put in this loaded pocket now this is um, another Polaroid picture from the Polaroid Cut Apart and Sweet Story. And I actually had forgotten to back that onto some cardstock. So I didn't want it to be flimsy. So I, what I ended up doing was actually just mounting that onto some um, acetate. And I quite like how um, the end result turned out. And just a little like cluster of beautiful pastels from our Sweet Story collection. I added some pom-poms and I added some jemmies that I have. And I don't even think it needs that little pom-pom clip, to be honest. I don't think that um, aqua goes very well with it, so I might leave that off for now. I think it's just so pretty on its own. So I've got that one there. Then my pen pal is going to be, I'm not really sure why I haven't sealed that, so let me just, um, oh, because it doesn't fit, it needs a bigger baggie. Let me just grab a bigger bag. Okay, that one should fit, so I'm just going to take this out of the smaller bag and show you. It's just two little flag embellishments, very, very simple, that my pen pal can use on her projects. Just gonna pop that into a bigger baggie so it does fit. Yes, it does. Good. There we go. Then I have a packet of Prima um, jemmies for my pen pal. These are really pretty colors. Lots of um, acres and blues and blacks. So cute. The black will go really well with All Heart and so will that glitter. It matches the um, resin stars in All Heart very, very well. And then you will have saw that I pulled this one out from one of my, um, I think it was the second pocket I shared in part one of the video. And I decided to put it into this pocket. So that's what that is. I'm giving her a set of enamel pins. And look, I just realized in the packaging they put a little bag topper on their treat bags. So I'm, I'm giving this in this loaded pocket because I think these enamel pins go really well with um, Sweet Story. Another little confetti stick from Dear Lizzie. And then I had made some rosettes previously, so um, I thought that this one would be a really, really good addition to the project. And this is just a rosette that I decorated and put onto some Mila paper on my acetate and filled it up with some cute little sequins mix and that car is from the sticker pack the sweet story sticker pack and i wish sweet story came with more rainbows because i can't get enough of them they're so pretty and this one's got a little sequin stuck uh, cluster as well super cute and it's this vacation mode <laughs> Then I'm also giving her um, a packet of these Felicity Jane puffy stickers that um, I hauled a while ago. Excuse me. 
I really, really love this and I think they make a really great um, accent to any project. I especially love the bow and the hearts and all the little words. And the teeny, weeny, tiny little butterfly there. And it's so versatile, like black and white just goes well with any project that you might have. And taking a look at the pocket on its own, isn't it pretty? <laughs> I am obsessed with this hot air balloon paper from Sweet Story. I love, love, love that paper. And it's on the most beautiful blue background. And I think it just goes really well with this vinyl. And I selected a sequence mix that matched all the colors on that paper. And then I happen to have some hot air balloon charms um, in my collection, so I just grabbed one and added it to the top. How cool is that? <laughs> Be pretty cool if um, Sweet Story or Crepe Paper came out with a collection like this collection with matching hot air balloon charms. That'd be really, really cool. So that's the pocket on its own. Really, really cute. Really cute. I love it. Wish I was gifting this back to myself. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> but I love making and crafting and sending beautiful things to my friends it's what I love to do just going to carefully try and place everything back where they belong it's all about placement with loaded pockets isn't it you want to give the sort of uh, impression that everything's bursting out but without everything actually bursting out <laughs> that's the trick with loading up uh, pockets and I'm not the best at it but um, it doesn't really matter it doesn't really need to be perfect in any way and sometimes if things sort of don't want to you know they don't want to sort of stay in place then that's what pretty little gold clips like this is for I'm not even sure where I have that clip, but I think I might just pop her over here so we can get some of that butterfly business going on. There we go. There's my first load of pocket. Super sweet. Super sugary. Ah, oh, I love it. Love it so much. So that's number one. Now the second one is something a little bit different because unlike all the pockets that I load of pockets I've showed you so far. I made this one out of that beautiful Starburst vellum that comes with the Sweet Story collection. So um, Sweet Story release came with uh, one special, no, two specialty papers. One is a acetate with a gold accent um, and it's in a floral pattern. And the second specialty paper is this beautiful peach starburst vellum and a bit tricky making a loaded bag out of it because it's quite flimsy um, because you don't want to back this onto any cardstock because you want to keep the transparency right. So what I had to make sure I did was not hang off any charms in case it folds or weighs it down um, and then I gusseted it with vellum again to give it some dimension. And then I also sewed this beautiful like cut apart up the front and I just really like how that turned out and this chipboard's from the chipboard collection or not the chipboard collection this flower is from the sweet story chipboard so beautiful and <coughs> excuse me the reason why I haven't sealed this one up yet is I just haven't added a charm to it so this is really cute. It's just a little um, flag embellishment. I'm not really sure why it's stuck up. It's getting stuck on the little chipboard. So it's just a little flag embellishment and oops, that's just bent in the middle. It says, there is sunshine in my soul. Really pretty. Again, those beautiful velvet stars and I have another memory dex card which I also included one in my previous video in the second loaded pocket and this one is really 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 chunky now there is one of my um, signature butterfly embellishments that I popped on the front beautiful and pink and this is one of Maggie Holmes sweet story butterflies look how chunky that is but it's so pretty. I just lay it and lay it and lay it and lay it until I 
had enough layering. And the base memory decks is actually another tool shaker with sequins inside. Okay. And there's a little cotton candy chipboard sticking out there. Another resin heart from a resin butterfly, beg your pardon, from um, Dear Lizzie. And I have these beautiful sequin stickers that I purchased from Sassy Scrapper. So I've added them as well. Very cool. I love this. An all heart tassel on the end. And another little um, hot air balloon puffy sticker that I turn into a charm. Plus some teeny weeny little sequins that I added just for, I don't know, just to be a little bit extra, I guess. So cute. And it says my lovely life. I'm in love. I love that. Super cute. Okay, then we have... Nope, I don't think that belongs there either. We have a little, something a bit different, a little um, Myla Shaker pocket. And this one doesn't have really any chipboards other than what I put in here. I've got this little Felicity Jane squiggle at the top. And this My Wish Comes True Um is from the Sweet Story sticker pack and so is that gorgeous little tiger and I didn't do anything fancy with the sequence I just grabbed my iridescent stars so there you go very simple little shaker very very iridescent um, then you guys know I've been repackaging um, a lot of the Sweet Story packages or reusing the Sweet Story and Maggie Holmes packages in my crafting lately. So I thought I'd make like a little mini kit. I guess you can call it a little mini kit. I made two Sweet Story rosettes which have not been decorated yet. That one actually has a glitter heart on it. It's really, really pretty. And then I added some basic sort of tags and um, ephemera in here. There's quite a few behind it, but you can't really see it and some little gem stickers so that um, if my recipient has some, you know, spare Sweet Story ephemera pieces or puffy stickers or chipboard or cardstock stickers, then she can sort of layer it up and make her own decorated tags. Um, and I think I think that was just a really cute little idea, a little bit of crafting fun right there. And then lastly, I... Um, well, not lastly, because there's something else down here too, but that's just a little little decorated Sweet Story um, flag. That little raspberry is from the Sweet Story rubber accents. And that, um, I cheated, that little enamel is actually from Maggie Holmes' carousel, which I think um, Sassy Scrapper still has a few of them in stock. And I think, the, I think Sweet Story and carousel actually work quite well together if you mix your collections. So you guys would have seen me make these little taco embellishments in a previous video. Um, and I've just done the same here. I've just added, I haven't done the same. I grabbed one of them and I put, popped it into this confetti packaging. And I also made a beautiful, like, sweet story tag down there using those standouts from confetti. Yep, confetti standout rosettes and popped a little butterfly on that. So that's a really cute little cute little uh, thing to receive there is the pocket on its own it's very simple you know this one was a very intricate very layered lots going on at the front there and by comparison um, because I'm working with vellum which is not very thick I wanted to keep um, the front to very bare minimum and I love it I really like how simple and um, understated that turned out And I have a lot more, lots and lots more Sweet Story projects to share with you um, here on Sassy Scrappers. And I cannot wait to show you what I made. I'm going to be crafting a lot more with Sweet Story. And I am absolutely promise to share it all with you. Um, and hopefully inspire you guys to go and pick up some Sweet Story and just play with it. Because it, it's really a really fun, girly, sweet, sugary collection, which is totally my cup of tea like it's totally my cup of tea there it is guys the two sweet story loaded pockets which rounds off the four that i have made so far four sassy scrappers in fact i might even bring the other two back into the picture for you in case you missed my first video 
there we go that's all four hopefully fitting into the one frame <laughs> Thank you all for watching my video. If you do like this video, please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And be sure to head over to Sassy Scrappers now and check out all the sweet story goodies that Olga has in her store. Thank you for your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.